Is it recording? You want to uh, increase the height of it? Sorry. I like to repurpose things. All most personal things which I have got. These are the things I'll never forget. Another one more time. I think I've been extremely lucky to be with family. My parents are here, my wife Divya and 4-year-old daughter Arna. And I also live uh, with my nephew. We all wanted a bit more time with the family. We all always want uh, you know a bit of slow down otherwise the life has been very busy. I've been cleaning the house whether it's is cleaning chimney in the kitchen or sometimes doing the utensils doing pocha at home or gardening with arna when she asked me so many questions about seeds about so many things so that is where i've realized that, uh, that what a beautiful thing god has given us the nature has given us the soil with addition of water air you know sun is kind of fire creates the new life and 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 I'm loving it I think I think this sentiment is going to is going to uh, get conveyed in uh, in what I do in future so this is my uh, my one of the favorite spaces in my house this is a small studio which we have created for ourselves the most important picture here is of uh, gandhi ji with his charkha and uh, then there this is also a small charkha which is a symbol of the kind of charkha which my grand grandmother had if i get a chance to you know tell this to her which unfortunately i don't have that how amazing thing what she was doing you spin your own yarn you get your own fabric created then block print yourself create your own uh, you know ecosystem gandhi ji always spoke about these three things uh, satyagraha uh, swadeshi and and self sustainability and today also i think we need that kind of vision to support enormous population of craftsmen all across india When I first started hand embroidery I went to this karkhana in Mumbai in Jija Mata so when I went over there I realized like uh, most of the guys live in small areas they work there they live there they sleep on the floor and these are very very tight areas I asked all the people who were working over there would they like to go back to the village would they like to you know, work from there Although they never believed, they never thought that that's going to be possible. But somehow it started with ten people, and now we have got more than hundred people in a small village called Bondpur. We have started this during Woolmark Prize collection, and my first collection of Woolmark Prize was made by this group. all the carigas now they live with their family they get home cooked food they take care of their old parents they get love of their children i think this these are the most important part of human life and i am very happy they all are enjoying it when i got to know about this mask project i got uh, quite you know excited also and i was thinking about designing something which was ergonomically friendly so in that way i was thinking about doing a mask which somehow you know uh, runs uh, below the ear because most of the masks which i was ever wearing do come with uh, a loop which goes around the ear so after some point of years it starts hurting we have some of the fabrics which are left over from last few seasons especially i'm very attached with with block printing and the idea from the time i discovered like my my grandmother used to also use block print so you know right now i have got her own blocks here 
which are really beautiful, very, very emotional for me. Although this is all natural textile, you know, handcrafted, but this all is easy to maintain, washable, so that you don't have to, uh, you know, after using mask, throw it away. It's all about repurposing the mask, so that you know, entire process of making this mask becomes a point of inclusion of people. I think the most important thing right now, when you look around, when you see like almost all the work has been on standstill, it is really important for all of us to talk to your craftsmen, to talk to different craftspeople and, and let them know that there is a big hope for future. Everything is going to come back to the way it should be. And right now, we need to protect ourselves, we need to take care of our loved ones. In this century, especially post mechanization of the world, we are consuming resources way too fast. Your, you know, greed to grow infinite volumes cannot happen with finite resources. I think this is the pause which we need to look at getting back to this rhythm. Behind the mask, we meet yet again. Ta-da! Other camera was set it up like the way you asked. So other one I just I would like to just show you that first. And that and the sketching part and all that has to be taken then. Do you say that? Only camera needs to be switched on and off in whenever we pause with the bigger camera, then I can camera. Okay. Anna. You go slightly back. <laughs> I find my my interview is really funny, so uh, I, don't, I don't know. Worst case scenario, I'll shoot it again tomorrow. <laughs>